Hi everyone. Just wanted to let you know that I'm back. And I've really missed working on this car. And that I am going to start working on it again. I've just got to get um, some more metal. So I'll look at complete that up there. Uh, while I've been away some water has got in. But not as bad as I thought it would have. That leads to be mopped up with a towel. A little bit of surface rust. But I was expecting it to be a heck of a lot worse than that. This turned out alright. And the paint protected it. So that's not bad. Obviously I've got to um, grind the welds down. But I will do that when I've put the floor section in up there and finished it in a sill section but it's looking fantastic in here um this is basically a video just to update you to let you know that i'm back and what i've got to do next well, i'm trying to work it out myself as well to be fair so what the next steps will be um obviously i've had a nice long break I've also come back with some bits and bobs off my brother-in-law Tommy. Thank you for that. I've got a, a gas welder. I've got to clean it up and do some work to it, but it's going to be a big help in this project. Uh, so this is where I'm at, where we left off. Some surface rust here, not bad considering. I can get that cleaned up. So, just gotta wait till I uh, get paid. Go and get some sheet metal. Probably only need like a, a sheet or two. And get moving in that corner there. Finish some bits and bobs off up here. That, that front section there is nearly done. And it looks amazing up there. So I'll do the same on this side, clean all of this up, clean that rust up around the shifter, right around the gear shifter here. Uh, it's nice to be back to my Cortina that is. I'm currently missing where I went, Wales. So I love Wales. Uh, the only thing that I wanted to come back to was me Cortina. <laughs> Otherwise, I probably would have stayed there. Um, I can't wait to get back and finish that corner. Get back to it. Because there's only that little bit left there now. Bit of cleaning up up there to do. Finish that bottom section there. The reason I never painted that bottom section is because where the eater box goes under there to control the where the heat comes through I've got to make some little tangs underneath it, it slides into obviously it holds it in place and then I've got to put a little bracket here that it bolts to so I, I never painted that because I've still got work to do under there um, what else is that I think I think that is it and you can see how perfectly shaped this is that goes up there and if you look at the bit yeah, all that's nice and shaped, so it's identical to each other. Now, I'm debating on whether to put the other one of these here. I mean, if I can find it, I'll put it there. Because I'd rather have it, but if not, it's no, not important, is it? So, once I've uploaded this video, the work will start. And I will be continuing to upload videos as usual. I just wanted to give you an update to let you know I'm back. I had fun. I've had a break. I'm really motivated to get back onto it now. And I really can't wait. I just wish I already had the metal. I would have probably started right now. <laughs> oh. But yeah, that's going to be my next stage. Fill that hole in. Fix that corner there. Get all this inner sill that I made in properly. Uh, and then start working my way back again. So I'm going to start from the front again, work my way back again, finishing up. And then when all, everything's done and I've welded, grinded and everything's smooth, I'm going to go over the whole floor again, paint it in some proper paint. Because obviously I'm not going to just rely on that 
I think that's just Amorite that is, I can grind that off. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to say, and I'll see you in the next videos. That's where I'll be starting, so you've got that to look forward to. Bye-bye.